to the Beverly High School Annual Alumni Breakfast. My name is Nancy Cavanaugh, and I am your chairperson and host. And I want to apologize right up front. There wasn't enough name tags. I messed up. I'm sorry. But I think you all know who you are. So next year, we'll have name tags for everybody. This is a great opportunity for you to get together with uh, old friends and classmates and to catch up on the latest news and what's happening in everybody's life. We have members of classes dating back to 1942. And there are 425 in attendance today. So this event has been, and I hope it continues to be, a great success for everybody. This morning, we are going to recognize and welcome the class of 1969 down here, OK? So without further hesitation, I will ask them to please exit the hall. You've got to get up. Exit the hall. Assemble in the lobby. And then you can make your grand entrance together. So go right ahead. Class of 1969, to the back of the hall. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce and welcome the Beverly High School class of for a moment of silence to honor our dearly departed classmates who are no longer with us, but whose spirit will always be remembered. Thank you. I would also now like to ask for all of our veterans to please rise and remain standing, please. All of our veterans, please. We thank you for your service to our country and the protection of our national security. Would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, thank you. We have among us today, sitting with the class of 1942, a distinguished veteran 
who served our country and defended our national security in World War II. Colonel Stuart S. Corning, Jr., retired, enlisted. He enlisted in the military in March of 1943, and he was placed on active duty in the United States Army in May of that same year, after completing basic training at Camp Shelby, Mississippi. Two months later, he was awarded his first promotion to the rank of Private First Class, followed by advancements to Corporal and then to Sergeant. In May of 1945, Colonel Corning was commissioned as an officer, Second Lieutenant, two years after being placed on active duty. In August 1945, the then Second Lieutenant Corning returned home from the war. He was discharged in May of the following year and retired from active duty completing his three-year commitment. However, he continued to serve in the Army Reserve. During the 23 years from 1949 to 1972, he was promoted from the rank of second lieutenant to captain, major, lieutenant colonel, and colonel. He retired in 1984. During his career, Colonel Corning was awarded the Legion of Merit, one of the military's most prestigious distinctions ranking just below the Silver Star and ahead of the Distinguished Flying Cross. The Legion of Merit is a military award of the United States Armed Forces that is given for exceptionally meritorious conduct in performances of outstanding service, achievements, fidelity, and loyal in either combat or non-combat positions. Colonel Stuart S. Corning, Jr., retired U.S. Army, is a remarkable person who devoted 35 years to the service and protection of our country. Colonel Corning, if you are able, can you please stand? Are you able to do that? If not, raise your hat so that everyone can applaud and congratulate you and recognize you for your achievements and dedication. I would also like to recognize I would also like to recognize Marilyn Kabansky who was who was recently chosen as senior of the year. Where is Marilyn? Marilyn. Where are you? I don't see her. I don't see you. She's good. Oh, she's over there. Okay. <laughs> As most of you know, Marilyn chaired this, this um, event for 10 years. And she is just a remarkable person and very, very deserving of this wonderful award. This year, the Beverly High School Alumni Breakfast Scholarship was presented to a young lady. Her name is Marley Norton. Marley achieved a 4.67 GPA and will be attending the University of Massachusetts in Ham Amherst, Mass, where she will study biochemistry, biophysics, and molecular biology. Quite impressive. <laughs> she is a member of the National Honor Society, played lacrosse, and is a member of a community sports organization. She participates in dance, and is a member of the BHS marching, pep, concert, and jazz bands. She is a member of the math and science teams and participated in 220 hours of community service. Her mother, Amy Civitaries, graduated from Beverly High School, as did her grandfather, Nicholas Civitaries. Marley is here this morning. Her mother, Amy, and grandfather, Nick, are accompanying her. Amy, I mean, I'm sorry, um, Marley, would you, like, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> Come on up. You're welcome. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't know I was going to be speaking in front of 400 people today. <laughs> um, 
In fact, I had never heard of the BHS alumni breakfast until I had received the scholarship. So this is this is awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. Um, as Nancy said, my grandfather graduated from Beverly High School in 1960 and my mother in 1985 and you know Beverly really is home you know for our family especially we've been here since my grandfather's parents came over here from Italy and I'm assuming the 1940s right 1920s all right <laughs> they, they had a lot of kids <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but this this really means a lot to me. Um, the contribution towards my education, something I care about a lot, and coming from a place that I care about so much. Um, thank you all for being here today. Um, I'm sure this is something that you all really love, and it's something that I love too now. <laughs> this is like, this is like uh, thank you. Thank you, Marley. I just want to make a comment that Marley didn't know she was speaking here today, and I think she did an absolutely fantastic job with an ad lib speech in front of 425 plus people. So I think she deserves another round of applause. <laughs> This year the scholarship was increased from the usual $500 to $800 due to your generosity. The donation jar that we put out last year collected over $300 and it's up there again in the back of the hall and uh, it's, it's, it's voluntary and we thank you for, for allowing us to collect a few extra dollars so that we can make the scholarship worthwhile. <laughs> Greetings from our Honorable Michael Cahill. How did I skip that? <laughs> oh, sorry. Boy, and you're on the agenda too. <laughs> sorry. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Good. I I know that I'm between now and, brec and breakfast, so. I just want to say I'm especially thankful to Nancy for flipping the program and letting me speak after Marley, right? Because isn't it great to follow the best speaker in town? Um, so I, I've got to say, um, welcome to the class of 1969. I'm a little bit nervous for the rest of you because there's a little bit of rabble being roused over there by, by, from what I saw. Now you got, a, you got a powerful group that just came in. Uh, yeah, uh, but oh god! <laughs> I know she's sitting next to Mary Catraro. I noticed that. <clears throat> uh, but listen, have a have a wonderful breakfast. Um, I hope you've been enjoying your summer. Hope you've been enjoying um, homecoming week. And uh, if you can come down to Lynch Park later and join us for some some concerts and some and uh, fireworks, please do. Uh, I like to get up and just share a couple things with you when I, when I come by. So um, what's going on in Beverly right now? Um, we are in the middle of writing a new master plan. Master plan, we, um, every 10 to 15 years cities and towns write new master plans and they set out kind of the goals of the community. What do we want to do over the next 10 years, 15, 20 years? Uh, and so I'd like to make sure that you know how easy it is to be involved. Um, if you're if you like getting on the computer, and I know a lot of you do, it's easy to go on our website and our, our city website, beverlyma.gov, at the very top there's a banner. If you click it, you get to take a survey about what you'd like to see Beverly doing and not doing over the next you know, bunch of years. So please do that. If you're not somebody who spends a lot of time on the computer, then um, please know that over the next couple months we're going to be holding neighborhood meetings all over Beverly. Between mid-September and the end of October, we're having seven neighborhood meetings. So if you have the opportunity to join in, that's, an op that's a, a great chance to tell us what you're thinking, what you think of what you've been seeing, and what you want to make sure does happen uh, going forward. Because in Beverly, uh, all the great services that we all rely on, we've got to find a way to pay for them year to year to year. And so that's a, that's a part of how we try to plan uh, moving forward. We know that 
there are a lot of people in Beverly who are um, struggling to find housing or stay in housing. And so these are the kind of things that we grapple with. I'll stop there except to say um, we're building a new police station. If you've been in our police station, you know that our police department does amazing work in a building they outgrew a long, long time ago. Uh, so we actually own two acres of land that you might think is coming center. If you're standing looking at coming center from the stop and shop parking lot, not the middle of the road, but maybe the parking lot, you'll see a little ATM building at the very front of the property. Next to the ATM building, all the way over to the train tracks, we own that. The city owns that. That's where we'll be breaking ground this winter on a new police station. Uh, so just kind of lay that out there for you so you know it's coming and that we're all, we're all paying for it. So thank you for, you know, you're, no, really and truly, thank you for the, the fact that you are supportive uh, citizens of this community. I'll stop there because breakfast is coming. Hope you have a wonderful morning. Nancy and the team that puts this on, thank you so very much. is served momentarily. Thank you. While we're waiting for that, I would like to offer a special thanks to Do Bocha up here for providing a little music for us this morning and also to the staff and management of Danversport for their continued support with this yearly event. know there'll be four people here and that is Lena Gagnon also from the class of 1965 <laughs> it was a very good year I might add <laughs> come forward and collect your bounty <laughs> Sell them. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, this is fun. So, 
So now, um, the first, the first $50 door prize was just drawn by Lena, and the winner of that $50 is none other than our scholarship recipient, Marley Norton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Want to pick another one? <laughs> <laughs> That'll help with people. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, for the second fifth for the second fifty dollar drawing, the winner of that is Carol Cicchini. Carol Cicchini. I know she's here because I met her. Over there. Come forward. <laughs> make this event a continued success. Thank you also to the staff and management of the Danversport Waterfront for their continued support with this annual event. We look forward to another year to welcome the class of 1970. So until we meet again, I wish you all a safe and healthy year. And to close, let us all join in singing our Beverly High School song. Anybody want to sing the Beverly High School song? Does anybody want to lead the Beverly High School song? Anybody care about the Beverly High School song? <laughs> Does everybody know the Beverly High School song? <laughs> well then let's hear it. Onward, oh onward. I'm not gonna sing this by myself. <laughs> That'll scare you all away. <laughs> no? Onward, oh onward for Beverly High. Our voices sing, kick, loud and strong and clear. <laughs> so we'll cherish her faithful, we'll be to our alma mater dear. You can tell I didn't take single lessons. He'll do her heroes, her loyal, little words either. The hearts be nine, nine, ten. We'll always play fair and her high, 
I just wish it for dear old Beverly High. Yay! <laughs> okay. Thank you. You don't have you don't have to run out of here. We have the hall for another hour or so. So please feel free to stay, talk to your classmates, and we'll see you next year. Have a nice day. Thank you. Uh oh.